Hey guys, Paul Bear J here with uh, another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually use the rat with uh, your slaves, as you can call them, or whatever you want to call them. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I didn't show this in the setting up the tutorial, but you can actually go under client settings and actually mess around with this. You, know, you can use their show their desktop name and whatnot. You can display notifications whenever you get a new slave, and uh, yeah, there's different things you can go through this. Um, yeah, you can also, they also have uh, your keylogger database and all the users, whatever, that have connected. You can just like go to all these users and check out their uh, key logs. It should automatically load it, maybe. Let me find something that works. Maybe if I'm lucky. Come on, one of these people's got to have some data already. Here, I'll just use my laptop. If it goes... I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, like, here, you know, you can see what they've typed on, you know, Thursday of the September 20th. And you can look at, you know, all their key logs. Well, see, this has nothing really good because this guy is just showing off a working hack, apparently. Or, I don't really know. Anyways, there's different things you can go by and just search. Anyways, let's just get on with this. So let's see. I already have. A, I didn't. I made this smaller because I actually have other clients or slaves. I'm just gonna make sure you know you'll be only see like two of them. Anyways, I'm gonna explain all this right here. All these different things. So obviously you can set. You can make them into a group. I put Daisy Nubs because of a Daisy hack that I made the server with. So when they connect, you'll see uh, like whatever server they used or whatever. If you have multiple servers, which I do, so like Daisy Hacks, it'll pop up Daisy Hacks as their whatever they connected their flag, where they're from. This guy's from the U.S., obviously. The IP and their basically their uh, uh, visible IP and then their network IP. That makes sense. And their port, whatever port they connected through, their computer name and their username. Their OS operating system, very easy, and you can get on and all that. How much RAM they are using, uh, what country, and basically what language their uh, computer's in, English, and where they're from, Great Britain, obvious. Admin rights, it shows you know if they're limited or default. If they're default, it means they have all access admin rights on their account, which you can actually do a lot more stuff instead of limited. Camera, if it has an X, they have a camera, and you can actually watch them. I'll show that later. Their ping, what the ping is to you. Let's see, how long they've been idle. Uh, when this goes up, that means they've been idle. They, they're they basically AFK from the computer. So if they're it's zero, then obviously they're there playing. So I wouldn't really mess with them, you know, going through their files and stuff until they're idle. Uh, basically, active caption is whatever they're looking at at the moment. For example, this guy's already looking, he's probably playing Daisy right now. Uh, I believe, oh yeah, it's more, you know, the hardware ID. And basically, first execution is whenever they executed the server. And the version of the server that they have. So let's get started. So first off, you can add them to user group, which I've already done. You can also group manager, make a group and whatever, and you can switch them to different groups. Uh, let's go over Open Control Center. This is probably the main thing you'll probably be using. So first off, you can view their system info. You can view that, you know, do whatever. So this is where actually you can do some fun things, like you can hide their desktop, hide their clock, hide all this different stuff, and make it reappear, open their CD and whatnot. It's very fun to do. I haven't done it myself because I usually just, I'm using this mainly for key logs. You can also play a piano. Uh, they'll play a piano basically that they hear, and they'll be like, what the hell is that, you know? So you can make it like, uh, you know, like a Windows Air or whatever, you know, like, you know, bam, and it's like sticky keys or whatever, you know, that sound that sticky keys gets. You can also send them a message box, you know, like, uh, you know, this is the FBI, we're checking on your system, you know, donate $100 to this PayPal account or something. You can make up some bullshit like that if you really wanted to. Uh, Microsoft Reader. This is actually quite fun. I haven't used it, but I've seen people use it in YouTube videos. You can basically type whatever you want here, like 
hey slave what is up my dog or something I don't know and basically you test it you can hear it yourself which I'll do right now if it does it you might not do it because I probably have the sound muted for it and then when you hit read they'll basically be able to hear it uh, basically remote chat with them if you really want to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bork since they don't know but you can basically you know nudge them and see what they've typed and all that basically talk to them uh, system functions you can you know install programs see their system privileges and what you know you can do uh, services startup registry and all that remote scripting I don't really care about file manager you can explore files oh shit close that for that guy knows okay anyways uh, you can search their files and whatnot. You can explore their files, download their pictures and whatnot if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend downloading like applications and stuff. Passwords and data. This is mainly what I use. I can actually view their stored passwords if they have cookies enabled. If they don't clean their computer like they should, if they're good. And just hit refresh. It might not pop up for this guy. So I don't know. He's actually in a game, I highly doubt. But usually you'll upload a DL to their thing and get all their passwords and then they'll show them their URL of whatever website they're that they have the login info for. Whatever what internet browser you're using or type and their username and password. It's very obvious. What I don't uh, I guess that guy did something. Anyways, next we will go under Ingo MSN functions. Spy functions, we'll go ahead, I don't know if this guy's a webcam, let me see, yeah he does have a webcam, we'll go ahead and capture, just for the hell of it, just see, or maybe he doesn't. Let me find someone that does, I may fast forward through this, or whatnot. give me a sec. Oh, this guy has one, uh, no, that's the TV, never mind. Uh, remote webcam. Seriously? None of these slaves have a working webcam. Come on, there's gotta be someone. What the fuck? There we go. Maybe this guy. Let's see. And of course, it's all black for some reason. I don't know, but you can view the webcam, view them if you really want to. Anyways, let's get back to this. Uh, sound capture and capture their sound, whatever. If they have a microphone, you can hear what they're talking about. Remote desktop, you can view their desktop and actually control clicks and control their mouse board, which is quite fun. Let's see if this works with this guy. Uh, I recommend resizing it to 50 in case they have a large monitor and you don't. Control option, you control the mouse clicks and control keybar. I'm just gonna turn them off so I don't actually mess with this guy. So hit start capture. Uh why oh they're playing a game so I can't see it, whatever. Stop capture. But you know if they're idle you can actually go get their you know Steam IDs and whatnot. Keylogger. Make sure it's enabled if you haven't, and basically you can look at all these logs. You know, let's go to the uh, past one. Don't click it. If it goes, sometimes it takes a while to load because it could be a long file or a long log. Long log. That sounds so funny. Anyways, you refresh logs and whatnot. Anyways, let's move on. Network functions, you can make them view pages and check out where they're getting Wi-Fi and redirect them to an IP and stuff. Uh, you can make them print something or copy their clipboard. You can turn off the computer, restart it, log off. Uh, you can restart your client and server. Well, finally it wants to pop up. Uh, you can update your server, uninstall it, close it, restart it, whatever you want to, if you really want to. You can update your server from URL from your file. I recommend from file, so it automatically basically runs it instead of from URL. Unless they're AFK, then you can do it. But yeah, it's basically it. I mean, there's other things you can do, like right here, you can refresh their info. 
I don't know, show information on them. You can make them visit a website, upload and execute a file. You can make them mass download stuff. You can DDoS them if you really want to. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uninstall it, show thumbnails. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or want me to go over more stuff, let me know in the comment section below. Or contact me by messaging me if you have something you want to talk about or tell me in private. But anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I will come out with more for you guys later. If you guys have any suggestions or what you want to see as tutorials, feel free to comment below or PM me. Thanks, bye.